Hello, my name is Martin Hoffmann and I'm presenting uh, the poster Sunshine, a semi-automated interactive graphical workflow to determine absolute genomic copy numbers in cancer. Sunshine is uh, as an interpretation meaning searching unique copy numbers in Sunshine. So what are absolute genomic copy numbers? So everyone will know it, I think, from you. So that uh, normal cells have a copy number of two. But in cancers, this may be different because uh, parts of the genome may be amplified or the whole genome is amplified or parts are deleted so that um, there are a mix of uh, copy numbers in the genome. Uh, yeah, it may differ uh, even in uh, chromosomes uh, a lot, so to say. Earlier, this uh, was measured by fluorescent imaging, but now is uh, replaced by sequence-based methods such as array CGH or low-pass sequencing. And you see that the data can be quite noisy and also copy numbers uh, may be imprecise. And there may be also some unforeseen artifacts, which I will show you in the next slide. And overall, uh, because the methods are not really quantitative, um, yeah, the overall ploidy is unknown. So meaning that the basically the mean copy number is unknown because the data, as you see in every CGH, is uh, these are log two ratios and normalized to zero, as well as a low pass sequencing which are normalized to a mean of one. So these are then relative copy numbers as you see it here, and these are need to be transformed to absolute copy numbers, these integer copy numbers in between zero and some high value depending on how much the genome is amplified. Okay, and this for this we developed the tool Sunshine because um, as you as I noted, the quality is quite varying, and we think that we needed um, an in interactive tool. Uh, so that these valuable cells which we are dealing with, uh, so the patient cells which we um, isolate from biopsies of patients, they need some uh, careful uh, evaluation and therefore we look at each cell uh, individually. So to show you the different quality of the data, uh, the upper left image shows a very regular histogram of the copy numbers and surely you could process those completely automatically with no problems, um, but often the data are different. Um, like on the lower left you see some inconsistent grid spacing, you have a rather clear grid spacing on the right side of the main peak but uh, not so on the left side or you have uh, like in the upper right a long leftward tail so to lower copy numbers and so the lower right shows a profile which is rather inconclusive because you don't see any clear grid spacing at all. So to solve this we um, developed this tool Sunshine in R Shiny and, um, and this tool comprises like four uh, initial steps which are fully automated and that have some parameters which you can adjust and control the results but basically it's some batch processing um, that um, yeah, process a series of experimental data automatically and then in late after that the result is presented uh, so the blue uh, line in the upper upper image is then the inferred absolute copy numbers uh, and the low image shows the grid fitted to the histogram. Then uh, one can adjust um, these um, profiles manually uh, with the help of the tool or even generate different uh, variants uh, which are then evaluated for example by compar it, comparing it to the uh, two different cells from the same patient like here you see some similarity between the cells and then high quality samples could uh, kind of correct uh, low quality samples in that uh, you assume that the cells of the same patients are similar, which obviously often is the case. Then in the end there's a final heat map and the results can be saved um, um, to a file and then further process. Okay, summarizing. Um, the Sunshine tool helps identifying variation in sample quality 
and recognizing artifacts. It assists in users in assigning absolute copy numbers, which is the ultimate game aim of the whole uh, tool. And we developed it and tested it on RCGH and low pass sequencing uh, data from patients, uh, mostly single cells and disseminated tumor cells, and uh, work on further validation on additional data sets, although cell line data is underway. So I need to acknowledge some people who helped in the work, like Mariam and Durdan, and of course also the people who did the lab work, like Felix and Steffi, and for overall organization, Christoph Klein. And I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Bye.